hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add some other ai characters as well as we did for the first ai character so let's go ahead and add the other ones as well right here in the prefabs let's go inside the ai character and now let's add our second character for example right there then in the hierarchy let's drop it down and click on prefab and back completely now let's name it as AI character one and if you go in there inside the AI character you can see all of the things about the AI character now let's go ahead and add an animator to this AI character and it needs an avatar and as you can see this character doesn't have any avatar so we will just leave this as it is after the animator let's go ahead and add the rigid body and inside the rigid body we will do all of the same thing as we did for our first character so we can just simply click on our first character and then click on copy component and then right here we can just simply click on these three dots and click on paste component values and now if we see the constraints and everything is similar to the first one then after this let's add a capsule collider as well so add the capsule collider then if we change the y value to 1 as you can see there it is the capsule collider let's make the height as 1.7 and the radius to 0.3 that's it after this we need to add the scripts so if you click on scripts folder traffic ai let's go ahead and add the character navigator script and then the waypoint navigator let's move both of the script up there let's try and drop the script in there then we need to assign the waypoint so for this character i will assign the second waypoint which is waypoint 2 so let's try and drop that in there after this set the moving speed to 1.4 and that will be it now if we play the game you will notice that now both of the characters are working perfectly fine as you can see now in the similar way we can add the other characters as well so let's go ahead and add them too and i am doing this one by one so that you guys can learn easily that how all of this can be done so there is our third one here is the fourth one and then we have the fifth one right here okay now let me try and drop all of them right down below and then let me select all of them click on prefab unpack completely now let's name them one by one so let me copy the AI character thing from here okay then let's paste it right here and change this to AI character 2 then AI character 3 then the last one will be AI character 4 now let me select the three characters but first of all let me copy the rigid body component from there and select three of them and then click on paste component as new and as you can see all of the values are added automatically then after this we need to add the capsule collider so let me copy that select the three of them and then click on paste component as new and as you can see the capsule collider has been added then after the capsule collider we have the animator so let's add the animator as well after the animator we need to add the scripts so let just open up the scripts add the first one then the second one and let's move them up there and now we can just fill each of them one by one so this AI character to moving speed will be 1.1 right here let's drag and drop the script and then let's assign a 
waypoint for this character so the waypoint for this character will be let's just say this waypoint 3 so if you click on it let's assign this waypoint 3 then now let me move to the next one which is this third one its move speed will be 1.4 let's try and drop the script and for the current waypoint we will assign the same waypoint but i will move this character to this side okay and then from here he will walk to that waypoint so let me add the waypoint 3 right there that's it then we have the last one for this last character i will leave the moving speed as 0 0.9 then let's add the character and the waypoint for this one the waypoint will be that one so it is i think waypoint 4 so let me drag and drop that and let's check it okay it is that one okay and actually let me move this character a little bit to this side that is it now everything has been added now let's play the game and guys let me tell you that you can change this moving speed according to your own game and your own character animations okay now as you can see all of them are working perfectly fine okay as you can see all of them are working now but for now we don't have the animations and in the upcoming videos we will be adding animations don't worry about that but for now i will i was just testing the characters right here they are getting into each other so don't worry about that we will fix that in the upcoming videos we need to just give some space between all of these characters and also we will change the direction of their moving some will be moving in the forward direction some in the backward direction okay so don't worry about that for now we just have a little small space right here so that's why they are doing this okay now with this done now in the next video as you know that we can't just add these characters one by one like this because that will be really difficult for us so what i want right here is that we need to create some spawning system in which we can just simply spawn different characters so for that i will see you guys in the next one